All right, so to do with my retracts, I've sort of pulled it apart and had a bit of a diagnostics. I'll just show you what I got. Got my on and off switch here. It goes into the receiver. It goes to my receiver battery. I've got my cable down here, which is disconnected. It's just for diagnostic purposes. I don't know if I'll keep that there when I'm all finished, but for now that's how it is. Um, what else we got? Everything's disconnected apart from the door sequencer, rear wheel, and main retracts. So I've just got some extension cables here, and down here running into that junction here. And this is the wheel here that is fine, that's fine. And this is my little device this stuff here that's connected up to my multimeter. So that's that's on the signal cable. All right, so if we crank it on, let's turn that on. And turn this on. Crank this over to volts, and we'll give it a good range. Something like that. Sweet. So we got signal. Now, if we flip the switch. That's both of them. Working fine. Look at it again. And that's working fine. So, what my problem was, was that somewhere, I've sort of, I've plugged it in around here and trying to I'll bypass the junction right down in here under that foam where it plugs in where the junctions meet. <clears throat> and it was still being intermittent on the retract working and not working um, the left side and then I've come out and connected it up on this side of the junction and now it's working fine so I don't know that sort of tells me maybe where they spliced into here on the junction that it was a little bit intermittent because I've tested this over about three days now, morning, afternoon, different times, and it just seems to be working fine no matter what. So what I'll do is I'll just rewire that, rewire this whole junction in here in the splice with some 32 gauge wire and be done with it. Because what I was hoping that maybe it was the signal cable, and then if I had zero voltage on the signal and operating it then that would tell me that was the signal cable or if there was a signal cable and it wasn't working then it was the power but it seems to be working fine so <clears throat> i don't know my solution is i'll just resplice it recable it rewire it and yeah then i know it's all working good and if it still does it then that sort of tells me that it's the, maybe the actual retract motor but after doing all that and it still does it then I'll diagnose it again well that's just my simple little setup just to sort of diagnose things um, one second I'll just take it apart so this is my little device these pins here, it's just JST connectors, just soldered together, and that one there, and then I can just tap into that with some alligator clamps, just connected to my multimeter, and that'll just tell me what's working. Cool, hope that helps, cheers.